So basically, um, I'm just happy now. God gave me a third chance in college, just because when I went to the States, it was a year or two years now, and uh, that's why I don't really mind when people talk, because you know they don't know what I'm going through. And a lot of Hoopers know what I'm going through, and it's just hard when there's politics in it, and mahira. Basa yung pakiramdam ko lang talaga is I just feel really lucky that uh, UP gave me a, a third chance basically in uh, college basketball. Uh, I'm super excited. Uh, I've been waiting for this since what January, uh, since uh, the day that I left Losal. Actually, before I left Losal, I was preparing for season 81. But then when when uh, the decision was made, so I have to I have to move on from that and um, try try and work on uh, different things because I won't be able to play season 81. So I have to serve my residency. But then. Yeah, uh, the whole time I was I was enjoying my life here in UP. Uh, the same as I enjoyed my life in Lasa before. But then, yeah, uh, ngayon uh, I'm trying to make things work between me and the my teammates. Para siempre, um, it's it's not just for me, it's for and not just for the team, but for the whole community. So, yun, uh we we have to. I think we just have to talk and get to know what we're supposed to be doing. My dad didn't know anything about this. Uh, when I got here, he only knew I was going to be here for Phil. Everyone knew I was going to be here for Phil Oil Lang, for Gilas. And then, nagtago uh, ako basically. Like, I didn't tell anyone what my plan was. Uh, I started making friends in Katipunan. And during a couple weeks, pa lang, or basically the first month, I really didn't want to go and play here in the Philippines anymore na PBA or UAP. As in, sa uta ko talaga, I just, you know, just wanted to see my choices talaga. Kasi, you know, when I was in the States, the choices ko was primarily to really, you know, uh, for the people who really wanted me to make it there. And I didn't really think about what I wanted to do. So, uh, this choice for UP was strictly mine. I'm really lucky actually to have my dad uh, as a, you know, basketball, na, someone who really guides me through basketball because he's not the type of parent na will force me to do stuff, you know? So, you know, the advice that my dad gives me is just to play my game and just be me. Because, you know, we're all different in a lot of ways. So we just have different games. Um, for me, I don't want to think about the, the future. I don't want to think about um, the, the championship, the trophy first. I just want to uh, focus on what, what are we going to do now, because you know, important. Eh. What if um, I'm thinking of the UAP na, and then deeper in the UAP, so I might be doing the wrong thing. So I have to trust the process. I have to trust my coaches, everything, my teammates, and all the managers. So I just wanna like, what work hard for, for for myself and for the team and the community. Because you know, man, important. Eh. It's not about how people will expect uh, of towards us. But how we, uh, how we will prove ourselves in, in the UAP. My brother Andre, you know, he, he basically gave me the greatest quote when I was a kid, and he said, "It's your expectations, your disappointment." Well, for everyone watching this, and for everyone who doesn't play basketball, they will say yes. For all the hoopers out there, it's basketball. I mean, I chose UP because. I wanted to play basketball and you know be with friends and just wanted to be happy. Uh, there's zero pressure at my point. I have nothing to prove. I've been playing basketball since I was 15. I've been criticized since I was 13. My parents been celebrities, broke up. My whole life is on the internet. I don't care what people say. I'm here to be happy. Uh, when I was in the States, I was there to make Filipinos happy, to show that Filipinos can make it. I'm not sure every, anyone out there is going to be able to go through what I went through. Because when I was there, I didn't just go through, you know, school stuff. You know, I had family issues. I had a lot of stuff going through me. And that's normal. Everyone goes through a lot of stuff. But being 15, living alone, that, that's tough. And a lot of people, you know, they get it twisted sometimes. And what's crazy is that when I was here in the Philippines, mostly everyone didn't accept me because I'm white. Basically, my skin's color is white. And then I went to the States, everyone was cheering for me and they wanted me to do well. Then I come back, everyone's talking, so everyone's gonna talk regardless. 
So there's no pressure in my point because I'm happy. You know, I'm enjoying my life. Uh, I'm gonna wake up every day doing something unexpected. Pressure, you know, pressure kills too much of these people's, you know, uh, confidence. Uh, this season, Talaga, is for me to really, um, what, what can we say? It's really for me to live my life to the fullest in a way na parang I don't have to worry about, you know, what's gonna happen next in my life. Kasi, yung sa akin talaga, every time I used to play, I would worry about what people think, if I was doing well, if I was filling my dad's shoes. But I went, when I went to the States, you know, you just have to live your life and just be happy because, you know, regardless what happens, you, know, you can be gone any minute, you know, your life's really short, so I'm just trying to be here and be happy. You know? When I was in the States, Richie and Juan were talking to me now, but I already told them now. I already knew they were going to talk about UP, so Sinabi Sandra, just, just cut it now, I really don't want. So, I'm just happy now, you know, God really made me to go to this path. Uh, I miss Kobe. I miss Kobe so much. Um, I was supposed to go to the States before with not not really with him like the same school but in the States but we were supposed to um, see each other there but then uh, I chose La Salle over US. Um try ko rin syempre dahil matagal din kami hindi nagkita talaga ni Kobe. Try ko rin uh, mag mag adjust or mag gel as as a teammate for all of them not just for Kobe but all of them kasi um, I'm the newcomer here I'm not the the veteran or the senior, so I have to adjust myself on the system. Uh, it's just cool just because, you know, a lot of people, they call us out, you know. We, me and Richie go through a lot. People think we're perfect and we can't make mistakes, so it's just really funny now. They're really saying that me and Richie, the bad boys are going to UP, so I don't really mind that. It doesn't matter what we do because we're basically going to be good and bad. If you look at social media, if you look at the court, there's going to be people booing us, there's going to be people cheering for us. You know, for me, I've been with Richie ever since, so I'm just confident in this game. We don't really need to have that bonding na parang palagi because, you know, we've been together na matagal. Na. And we've been, we've represented the country then together, so it's just pretty cool na naging teammates ulit kami. Um, the, those uh, trainings with the kuyas, may kuyas, sobrang, sobrang daming nag-improve sa akin doon. Um, especially, uh, I think, yung, yung experience, kasi you can't just pick up experience anywhere. But, um, dapat doon sa right person or right people, doon ka dapat mapunta for you to be able to learn. Kasi, um, what if may natututunan ka pero hindi pala siya possible sa, sa mataas na level ng basketball. So I just I think I just have to um, try to uh, apply everything that I've learned um, through the I think months that I'm with Gilas and yon. Um, siguro kailangan lang maging mature and how I talk to my teammates and how I react on my teammates and coaches. We have a lot of skillful players, so I'm just really confident in you know Coach Bo and the team because. People were expecting that UP was going to reach the, not even win, but reach the finals with me and Richie. They proved a lot of people wrong last year, so I'm really proud of them. Uh, they're starting to become family to me, and I'm really blessed that I can share you know, this journey with them. I'm here to just be happy with my team. Um, for some of these guys, it's their last year, so we just want to make it you know, fun for them. And this team's young, you know, there's a lot of new guys. A lot of people think that since you have the best players in the team, you guys are going to win. A team that wins is you, you have to be a family because you know family you know goes through everything together. So I think they approve that a lot, especially the Jones Cup. They represented our country really well. So I'm, I'm just really happy now. I don't, you know this is all happening. I'm just I just this is my first year playing college basketball basically. So I'm just trying to make the most out of the experience. Uh, not everyone in this world gets a second or third chance in life. There's really times that I really feel ungrateful with the stuff I get. Uh, but, you know, this is all a part of, you know, God's plan. Uh, whatever happens, happens. And, you know, this season is going to be great. Not just for us. Uh, Ateneo is still going to be strong. La Salle has great players. And you, you know, they had the experience last year. They're going to be so good this year. FU is right there. Adamson proved a lot of people that, you know, they're a contender talaga. So, I'm just really happy that UAAP is going to be a really fun, you know, Thing in the watch. First thing, the first thing I told um, I was praying about, uh, I don't care about the 
the individual individual awards. I mean, it's not that I don't care about it, but um, syempre, sobrang sobrang overwhelming na manalo ng award, uh, ng individual award. But then, uh, for me, I wanna focus on on what's on the bigger picture, which is uh, the championship. Because people, uh, players play for for the championship, not just for the individual individual awards. So for me, um, sobrang yun nga. So, gusto talaga mag-adjust talaga ako for for the team to win. And if sa akin yung ako yung may mali, ako yung ako yung magpipilitin ko pag-win yung sarili ko just for for the team to win. Kasi that's what's important talaga. At the end of the day, kahit maka-score ka ng 100, if you guys lose, everyone loses.